All right, ladies and gentlemen, Styles Pretty Work Detail in Fayetteville, North Carolina, getting ready to, getting, well, I'm setting up to do a car. This is my box of the rag companies, uh, the number one microfiber uh, company in the world. Uh, let me see. I got my, you see, I've been using a lot of that. The way it's supposed to be used. I'm going to be, you know, claying. Brand new one in here, claying. Got my solution already made up. And I don't wait till I run out, as I always say. I always have a brand new bottle. Or whatever that I see that I'm getting low on. I don't wait till I get low, you know before I purchase anything, neither should you. So, if you are, if you are budgeting like that and you call yourself a detailer, I mean, I don't know what to say. This is the vehicle that I'm doing this today. He dropped it off to me this morning. He's been a customer, my, customer of mine for couple of years him and his wife they love my work they don't let no one touch their vehicles but me when he come to pick it up he will be doing a video of him picking up his car he has a brother that has a big body BMW nice car and a big body Benz very nice car He's a master mechanic at a dealership here. And he does the same thing. He brings his vehicles to me. And at the dealership that he work at, they do cars, but he's like, they don't do them like you, man. So, you know, I, I have people, well, I don't have people. I have one person that's been trolling me and saying what he can do. Well, Whatever you can do, bruh, there's no competition because you're not here where I'm at and I'm not where you are. So there's no argument. But if you was near me, I would challenge you. Yes, I would. And I would put my business on the line. Winner takes all. And all I want is your name off of the scale of calling yourself a detailer because I already know I'm not going to lose alright and uh, my two polishes um, one guy says I can polish vehicles by hand better than you can with a machine I laughed I said wow that is lovely but if if the first machine that J.C. Penney ever sold polish it ever sold if it still works for you that's fine that's fine I'm glad that it works for you and I'm glad that you don't mind using your hands you know I'm pretty sure you very good at using those <laughs> yes that's my gas power pressure washer what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit the tires rinse the car down do you know clean the rims the tires the wells the barrels of the rims Rinse the car down because this car is one of the vehicles that I've been keeping up. So I know that all I need to do is just knock the dust off just to make quick work out of it. I'm going to knock the dust down off the whole vehicle and everything. So when I do get ready to clay it down, you know, wherever it need to be clayed because they keep this vehicle pretty good. It's, it's a garage kept car, you know, but he drives. He's a daily driver. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get ready to hit this up real quick and let y'all see the finished product you know I mean y'all done seen me polish y'all done seen me clay you seen see all this stuff uh, you know that I that I do you know I mean the detailers that I look up to and I'm nowhere near and would never say that I am uh, I, I, I throw Three names out there. One of them is AJ. He know who he is. And some of y'all know who he is. AJ, 
I look up to that guy. Um, Rennie, look up to that guy. Mike, look up to those guys. These guys right here, they make more money off of one car than what some of us would make off of 20. That's how good those guys are. So if you are that guy that wants to troll me and talk about what I use and what you do and all that, what works for you works for you. But if you and I was in the same area, we can remedy that argument quick. I also have a dealership here that would give us two cars. Same kind of car. They would give us two cars. And we'll let whoever we want to judge, judge. Okay? But since you're not, I'm not wasting my tape. <laughs> Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Uh, I'm not wasting my time on you. Um, like I said, don't run out before you buy more. Always stay stocked up. Always clay your vehicle down if it need to be, but if it's a customer car that you done had, they shouldn't have to clay it every time you bring it to, they bring it to you. Uh, number one microfiber company in the world, the rag company, keep those. So ladies and gentlemen, let me get back to work so when my customer of this nice, his car have a name, you know, you, you see what it is. Her name is Sadie, so I got to get back to Sadie's. You know, love you, Sadie May. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sweet Sadie. Don't you know I love you, sweet Sadie. Place no one above you, Sadie May. Yeah. E320, getting ready to get into her. She's a beautiful little piece. Yes, she is. Look at the hips on that ass. All right now, holla back.